Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the week of September 30th. This week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So all you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But Virgo, uh, let's see what's going on for you this week. And looks really good, actually, Virgo. You have the best reading I've done so far, if I'm being honest with you. So uh, I definitely like to see that. Uh, your overall energy this week is Seven of Hearts. Um, actually, a really good card to get for your overall energy. It's a very stable, grounded energy. This card is called the Tree, and it normally represents like a family tree, but it could just represent stability and feeling really good. If you're looking for love, really good card as well. Again, it could say that you could be finding something very stable and secure. Uh, in your area of opportunity for this week, you have the Ace of Diamonds. Love it. Uh, really good card. Ace of Diamonds is a path or a journey, and it says there could be like a new path or a new journey opening up for you in life. This could be huge. It could be very small, but it could be very big as well. I kind of feel more big for you, Virgo. It could be like you move somewhere and you get a job and like kind of like start almost, it's almost like you're starting your life over. I feel this for a lot of you, and it's definitely popped into my head like a million times. So definitely during the daily readings, as well. I feel like some of you could be almost starting over. I feel like it's going to be amazing for you. Ace of Diamonds is a card called the Sun, and it kind of like the Sun and the Tarot card, but it's a little bit different. Still just an amazing card in the card of a lot of attention as well. So I do feel like you could be getting a lot of attention this week. Not only that, you have the Nine of Clubs next. The Nine of Clubs to me is the card of recognition and achievement, and it just says you could be getting a lot of attention at this time. So next, again, as far as love is concerned, this is coming up in your love section. You have the Nine of Clubs. Nine of Clubs says if you want love, this card says get out there and meet as many people as you possibly can, um, you know, or experiment. Uh, Nine of Clubs is my card of experimentation. So if you're looking for love, it says try different places to find it. If you're like looking for love, maybe you go to the bar, but maybe the bar doesn't work. Maybe you need to go to the library. I don't know. Wherever you want to meet people, right? Uh, so I feel like you need to figure that out with the Nine of Clubs. This also says that you need, if you want love, you need to get as much attention as you possibly can. Again, Nine of Clubs is my card of recognition and achievement. But in love, it says you need to get as much recognition or achievement as you possibly can. So it says you need to get attention to get love. So make sure you're putting yourself out there to find it. Uh, your challenge in love is the Six of Diamonds. Six of Diamonds is like, uh, in the challenge position, is like not feeling lucky in love. So it could represent like you not feeling like you are lucky in a situation. It's also my card of imposter syndrome as well in the challenge position. And it could just say that in love, you feel like you are not worthy of love. Or maybe you are feel like you are not, um, you know, maybe you feel like people couldn't love you or something like that. So it's kind of like a more personal thing. And it just says maybe it's time to look at yourself and tell yourself that you are worthy of love or that you are worthy of being loved or, you know, pretty much anything like that. Your solution is the three of hearts. I love it. I love the three of hearts. I do not attach a meaning to the three of hearts. To me, the three of hearts is just an indicator card. And I call it an indicator card because to me, it just says things are moving forward in the right direction in your love life. So I feel like things are moving forward regardless of what's going on. Uh, next in your area of money and finance, you have the four of diamonds. Uh, love it. Uh, four of diamonds is a card of new money or a new job coming in for you. Really good card for money and making more money. It's also a card of newness as well. So a lot of you definitely could be a new job. Again, I said that with the ace of diamonds, same thing. Ace of diamonds is a new job as well. This could also represent a move. You have several moving cards. Ace of Diamonds is considered a moving card. The Four of Hearts you also have coming up next is a moving card. And the Four of Diamonds, also a moving card. Four of Diamonds is a card of patience. So it does say like there might be certain changes that you are hoping for in work or in your finances. And maybe these things are just so slowly happening, but it kind of just says be patient at this time. But a really good card for financial stability. Uh, next in your challenge for your finances, 10 clubs, same thing. Ten of Clubs is the card of wanting things to move forward faster. So I feel like as far as finances are concerned, maybe you want, like, you know, this is true for everybody, but, you know, again, I feel like you just want things to move forward faster. This could also represent a lot of burdens being put on your back. So it could say that you're dealing with, like, bosses or higher-ups or people at work or in business who are putting a lot of pressure on you. And the Ten of Clubs says you are trying to 
figure out what to do with the pressure. Or you're trying to figure out how to handle the pressure, you know, that, that everybody is applying to you. Your solution is the Queen of Clubs to be assertive, to be bold. So at, in, if people are giving you too much work at work, say something with this Queen of Clubs. You know, it's like if you have a boss who's making you basically do their job, I'm sure pretty much everybody has had one of those bosses, right? Where you have like a manager and they basically uh, magically disappear at different times of the day and don't do their job. You know what I'm talking about here? And they like try to get everybody else to do their job. Queen of Clubs says, speak up, say something. It's part of being assertive, being bold. Uh, same thing if you're looking for a job. Queen of Clubs has to do with your appearance, how you appear to potential jobs or businesses. And it says, try to appear how you think that somebody that would work there would appear. Or it could say that just a simple change on your resume, even how your resume appears, will lead to success. Uh, next in the area of health, you have the Four of Hearts. Definitely a very good card for health. Just a card of things being very healthy and things being fine. So I feel like you will be fine health-wise. Uh, your challenge for health is the Three of Diamonds. It's crazy. Every, almost every single sign this week has had a three, has had the three of diamonds or a three in their challenge position. Threes represent your back and everybody has had this. So definitely be careful of your back. But this could also just say that, you know, be careful of what you're putting into your mouth as well because the three of diamonds is like a card of small details and it's a card of like some sort of disconnect. So just be careful of, of you know, if there are certain foods that if you eat them, they make you feel sick. Don't eat them, is what this is saying. Uh, your solution is the Eight of Spades. Eight of Spades is very good, actually, coming up in the solution position. It's, you know, obviously it's not a challenging card coming up in the solution position. The Eight of Spades just says you are going to be opening up to other ways of doing things health-wise. So if you're having any health issues, you might be opening up to other forms of treatment or you might be opening up to other diets or, you know, whatever whatever you're trying to fix health-wise. Eight of Spades says you are just opening up to other things. This can also just represent a break, taking a break, going on a vacation, pretty much anything like that. So I feel like a break is very necessary for some of you and I feel like it'll be a good idea and finally your outcome is the seven of clubs uh, pretty crazy this card has come up for a bunch of people this week as well seven of clubs is like slow but steady progress towards your goals or towards things that you want in your life so I feel like maybe things aren't moving forward amazingly fast for you but I do feel like there's probably progress or at least things are starting to look better for you. So that's what I feel there for you, Virgo. But it uh, looks like a pretty good week. Actually, like I said, best week so far. It, it has not been very exciting this week. I got to be honest, like this week has looked pretty boring for pretty much everybody. But yours actually looks a little bit more positive, a little bit more exciting, a little bit more spice, a little bit more razzle dazzle. So uh, there you go, Virgo. But thank you, Virgo, and enjoy your week.